Hi hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using UI path. In today's session, we are going to discuss about desktop recording. So, let me uh, give you like a basic introduction. What mean by desktop recording and how it works? So, desktop recording basically it contains a container. So, which will be using like partial selector. So, partial selector in the sense. So, with the help of container, it is running so that it is using partial selector, and basically it will be helpful for uh, switching for uh, like one tab to another tab for example like uh, multiple web page automation during those phase we will be using a desktop recording also like one more thing so using desktop recording we can automate the desktop application as well so these are like advantages which is in uh, desktop recording when comparing to the basic record so let us quickly jump back to the UiPath studio and we can start our uh, today's recordings in uh, desktop okay so let me comment out the old one Okay, let me drag a sequence and name it as desktop recording so the actions each and everything will be pretty same it will be exactly same as the uh, basic recording so nothing will be different so the main things is container so what actually we were saying so let me quickly start without letting uh, just click on desktop okay so the same kind of icon so same everything will be same so which i said like uh, only container will be a different one okay so what actually you'll be going to do you are going to enter email and password the same thing which i discussed on the ela session so let me uh, click using this attributes or you can directly go here and click on the recording so as you know that uh, so this will be helpful for us to automate each and everything so quickly right so let me click on recordings okay so once you have clicked on recording so you can highlight the field where you are going to enter your values okay highlight here so you can enter your mail id right so what is the mail id so you can enter your mail id okay so once you have entered your mail id hit on enter okay so then password right so just highlight on password kind of same thing so nothing different so only the container and it will be helpful for switching from one tab to another tab so like when you are using like a, uh, like a multiple uh, web page automation during those ways so let me enter the password okay i have entered the password hit on enter and then click on login so i have clicked on login okay once i clicked on login i just uh, went to this home dashboard page so you can do any actions or you can uh, click logout so let me keep it is very simple so just me click on logout right and then to stop our recording just click on escape so you can save and exit save and exit so once you click on save and exit you can go to the studio in studio you can uh, get a one more thing i mean compare it to the basic recording is attach browser which is called uh, as container so what is the basic difference between like uh, basic recording or the normal difference between basic recording and desktop recording so the basic recording will do the same action so how desktop works but it does not have a container in basic recording so but in desktop recording it has a container so it has a container so which is a top level container okay and it will be much faster when comparing to the basic recording so why it is much faster so let me clearly uh, like uh, tell each and every aspect okay so let's take both the examples okay so this particular desktop will do the same okay before that just let me run this and then we can start uh, like explaining what are the different basic difference so let me save this okay and let me run this one so let me go back to the screen so that you can see what was happening here it is entering email id password then hit on login so the page is getting loaded now so it got loaded 
once it's got loaded and it is written the logout button as well so each and every action is done so so this is action will be same as the basic what is the main difference so so when, when component desktop recording so you can do like a desktop application as well you can automate desktop application if you have any desktop application like uh, uh, so like uh, what's uh, or something so this need to be repeatedly happening so you can automate that uh, using the desktop recording okay and one more main feature is it contains the container so why this container is mainly used so so let's assume so we are working in this in this page right so so what is the main uh, advantage of container so we are going to discuss about that thing only so here what it will do so it will uh, think what is the page on back side okay it will start typing the username password each and everything and it will hit on login okay let's assume okay let's assume uh, so we have two pages okay this first page and second page so you are cursor already in this particular page okay in this particular page so what basic recording will do it will try to find the current page where the cursor has been where the new tab has been opened it will try to find the element which is email id and password so it will be trying keep on trying and it will be not able to find where it has okay and it will get failed so but in basic in desktop recording so what it will do it will understand you have to go to this particular tab how it will be understanding so it will have the top level element so which is attach browser just click here edit selector in selector you can clearly find so what i was uh, talking about actually so it will go to this particular acme page right acme page it will go to the particular acme page and it will start uh, doing the process which is in uh, like email id and those things okay what does not have in basic it does not have any container so it was not able to recognize okay so when you are working only in a single browser which is in single tab during those phase you can go ahead and directly use the basic recording so when you are working on a multiple web pages okay multiple web pages okay in during those phases you have to use desktop recording so why because it will have a attached browser okay so if i was recording one more thing in uh, let uh, let's assume quickly uh, let's go to this particular site okay so if you are going to record something record something here okay so what uh, let me click on desktop recording okay let me start automatic something so just uh, let me click here okay let me just click here okay then click on escape save so here you can see some something called as attached browser see one second attached browser has been happened so if you're going to automate this two page okay so we are going to do it two actions you are going to log in acme once you are done with the acme you are going to fill this air asia page as well okay so consider if you are using a basic recording so you are working on this particular page suddenly your bot has to switch from this page to another page how it will understand we have to switch this page so it will be not able to get that okay so but in attached browser what it will do so go to this attached browser this particular attached browser go here and do the action okay so when come to air asia attached browser so all attached browser so already the browser which is open go to this attached browser and do the rest of actions which is in air asia so likewise it will recognize each and everything in the attached browser so when you are using a desktop recording so it will have a predefined attached browser which help you to perform the action without any miss okay and it will be much faster than the uh, basic recording. why i was saying much faster so let's assume this simple example so how many selector it has so one two three uh, right so three selector so on the first action three selectors second action three selector and this action also will have three selectors so total nine selectors okay so here you can see so how i was saying is it will be like same kind of that's why i just uh, total like three 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 six nine okay till login nine okay let's assume in this uh, like uh, desktop recording okay so what actually it will do the top two level elements will be eliminated in other activities so you can see only two elements right only two elements which, which this attached browser will help you to switch to a particular page and here you can see those options will be grayed out it will not evaluate once again the selectors okay 
so what actually why it has been grayed out so already it is using with the help of attach browser it has been moved to the particular page and select the bot one second it will not validate this two top level selector that's why it is grayed out okay so which means this two selector okay and this one 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 so which means five selectors only like uh, so this particular action will take only one selector to evaluate so if this particular selector it will try to evaluate only one selector satisfy only one condition which is type equal to male if it is exist directly it will go ahead and it will pass the values okay so when it comes to here okay let's see it has five selectors okay it will start evaluating each five select uh, sorry three selectors it will start evaluate it will check whether it is in chrome page yes another like this is a login page of acm yes and then type equal to email yes so likewise three selector will be evaluated okay so but here only one top level element is actually it has been selected and then the below action will take only one selector which means it will be much faster so three condition when you are evaluating three condition when you are evaluating one condition that is a difference right so it will be uh, evaluating uh, like three condition means it will take 10 minutes so if evaluating only one condition means it will take five minutes only so likewise it is much faster than the like uh, simple recording desktop recording is much faster so and then one more thing so when you are going to use a multiple page automation in those ways also you can uh, you should consider a desktop recording so this is a basic difference and the actions will be similar to the basic recording nothing much big only you have to understand what is the main difference between a simple recording sorry a basic recording and desktop recording only these are the main things so you can see here uh, do one more action or uh, action so you can see basic recordings will do only one action do one activities okay do more than one actions so you can see a desktop record optimized one more action so in simple where sim or basic recording will do only one action and one more thing here is the parent level element and desktop recording will have a container okay so likewise so that's why desktop recording is called as partial selector so it will be evaluating only one selector so even though there is about two selectors those will be graded out okay which is in containers it will not one second it will go and it will evaluate this same kind of selector again and again and again so uh, as of now only we are using three uh, activities let's assume if you are using 500 activities think about those things so 500 activities 523 so how much thousand somewhat will be right so but here only 500 so it will be so easy and so reliable so that the bot can it be efficient as well as it will be much faster when comparing to the basic coding so this all about the uh, desktop recording so i hope uh, you got each and everything in the desktop recording as well yeah have a good day keep learning bye